All right, guys, we got a new player in town when it comes to spray paint. So I don't know if you've noticed, but in Walmart the last couple weeks, I've noticed that we have this new product line, and it's called Color Shot. And it comes in a, a, a 10 ounce can, uh, so you can compare, right? So this is a 10 ounce can. It's kind of thin um, and, uh, and long compared to your regular Rust-Oleum, which is a 12 ounce can. The price difference is, I'm noticing these now are selling for $4 and like 97 cents. And these are now up to $4 uh, and 83 cents. They used to be 397, now they're up to 483. So you're paying 14 cents more and you're getting two ounces less. <clears throat> Let's look at the tips. So, <clears throat> excuse me. You can see these tips here. They've got a a triangle top to them. See that? And what's interesting about these is they spray, well, it says hold the can upright 6 to 10 inches from the surface. Okay? Now on your Rust-Oleum, you've got a different tip. It's rounded. See that? Just a regular round tip. It's got a little, you know, ingress area. But this says, and this is really, uh, really small lettering, but this says 10 to 16 inches from the surface. <clears throat> And so spraying this, this comes out more of a um, a longer, uh, a kind of a, a tighter stream, and then as it gets further away, it, sp it, it, it spreads out. Whereas your color shots, they come out kind of kind of wide and fast, um, and so you don't have to hold it as far away as you do uh, your rust oleum. One thing to note, though, is that this this is called premium spray paint, and it is a paint plus a primer, and you know it's wood, metal, plastic, and crafts. So it's a paint and primer. You don't have to prime it. And same with this, right? This is a this is a paint and primer. This is a two X Ultra cover. And let me just show you a little bit of the difference, okay? So this is my. Uh, my red rust oleum. Let me see if I can get this down here a little bit to focus. <clears throat> and the way I paint is I typically do one of two things. I either put a one heavy coat on or I put a, a coat on that's kind of light and then I come back maybe four or five minutes later and I put a second coat on and then I'm done. You know, kind of two light coats. When I painted this one, this was basically one, uh, one heavy coat. And I did that because my experience with these Ultra 2X, you know, Ultra Cover paint and primers is it can take it, right? It's not going to bubble up on me. And if you watch my channel, I wire brush the cars down to the bare metal. Sometimes I'll use the steel wool and I get it as clean as possible and then I'll paint it. And what I like about this is there's certain areas of the car where, where you notice if, if you've got good pigmentation and, and you're getting good adherence to the body. And that's right along these uh, kind of 90 degree angles right here, right along this area. And this has, this is pretty good. If you can see that, that's pretty good right along there. And this is pretty good here. You can see the, the color's really good. It's nice. Now, of course, this is red, right? This is, a, this is an apple red. Uh, I'm comparing it to uh, the orange slice, which is the color shot. And what I did with this color shot was I sprayed it once lightly and then I waited four or five minutes and I sprayed another coat on. And you can kind of see 
it just doesn't well i say you can kind of see i can see it just doesn't have as good of adherence and you can see some of the uh, underlying metal show through can you see it right along here see that you can see a little bit of the the gray kind of silver that's showing through here see that right along here it didn't really get adherence right along there very well so in actuality I probably could have put a third coat on this thing and I, I have to be honest I was a little disappointed in it because it says it's a paint and primer now again this is orange this is red it's a little bit different so uh, I can't I can't you know I'm not comparing <laughs> you like this <laughs> you know I'm, I'm not comparing apples to apples or oranges to oranges I'm kind of comparing oranges to apples <laughs> in this case <laughs> But regardless, I was a little disappointed with that uh, coverage uh, with this orange slice. I will say, though, it dried really quickly, and I could handle it within just maybe 10 or 15 minutes. Not the case with, the, with this uh, Rust-Oleum. you got to wait a lot longer uh, to really be able to handle and touch that. I mean, talking hours. And so this dried really quickly. And I was able to start, you know, handling it really, uh, really quickly, which is nice, right? Which is, which is a nice feature to it. Now let me talk about the marshmallow. So this is their white gloss, and they call it um, uh, this color shot. It's marshmallow, and I like their names. You know, their names are kind of cool. I have to be honest with you. I've always had trouble with gloss rustoleum and uh, white. That is. The white paint typically doesn't um, turn out that well. And especially what happens over time with the gloss white is these nozzles will clog like no tomorrow on the Rust-Oleum. So I have stopped completely using gloss white Rust-Oleum. I just don't use it. I actually use flat white and then I apply a sealer, a couple coats of sealer on it to get a gloss uh, finish. So time will tell how the uh, how this can and the nozzle hold up with the white gloss, this mar marshmallow. But I did the same thing. I did a single coat of the white, and then I went back four minutes, four or five minutes later, and put another kind of light coat on it. And I was very happy with how this turned out. You can see uh, this. This is pretty sharp. This uh, this marker here, and this is a Mustang. Those two are Toyotas. Uh, this marker uh, along here has got good coverage of the white. There's a little bit there that's uh, that's showing through, but it's not that bad. But yeah, I was very happy with uh, with the white uh, gloss paint. And again, it dried super fast. I mean, 10, 15 minutes, I could hold it, which is just unheard of with uh, with the uh, Rust-Oleum paints. So as you may notice, as I go through this, there's some positives and negatives to it all. So to recap a little bit, you're getting two ounces less. The cans are a little bit smaller. You are um, <clears throat> paying a little bit more, you know, 14 cents more at present time. Uh, maybe depending upon the color, of your choice will depend upon how it turns out. Uh, like I said, the spray is a little bit different. You hold these cans 6 to 12 inches away. Uh, this is 10 to 16 inches away. Now, for maybe the final uh, distinguishing feature, notice a couple things about the Rust-Oleum. <clears throat> made in the USA Vernon Hills Illinois color shot designed in California made in China uh, there's so many things made in China guys I, I you know I love to buy American so, I'll be honest with you. I'm going to stick with the Rust-Oleum. 
but I am going to continue to try out some different colors, especially if the color match is something that's a little bit better with the color shot. Because again, my price point is about the same. Sure, I'm getting two ounces more with the Rust-Oleum, but be that as it may, <clears throat> I don't mind trying out different things, right? Even if, if, even if they are made in China. One thing that I am going to watch for, and this is, we'll see how it just goes over time, is how these nozzles will last. If I'll have to have, um, you know, to replace them or if they last uh, and I'll be able to use the whole can. Uh, because as you know, I'm, I'm painting cars. You know, I, I paint one uh, and then I may not use that paint for a few months. And then I, you know, paint it, paint it, use it again. And so like, you know, for this, this Rust-Oleum can, I probably had this for a couple years. And, you know, you see what happens with the nozzle. You know, it, it gets, it, there's buildup on it. I'll scrape off the, the excess buildup, but I'll continue to use it. Yes, these nozzles do clog. And I've called, had a video on this. I've contacted Rust-Oleum. I've called their number and and told them about, you know, uh, clogging uh, caps and nozzles. And they would ask for, um, you know, the serial number of the can. And then they would send me some extras. Uh, sure, it took weeks to get here, but, you know, I, I was pleased with their uh, with their uh, help uh, desk, so to say, and how they would respond. Uh, and they sent me a number of extra caps uh, because inevitably these caps will clog. And then you, you know, you don't want to throw away a can that's, you know, maybe three, four still full just because you've got a clogged nozzle. So we'll see what happens over time with these color shots. I could only imagine that their help desk is not going to be as, as, uh, as helpful. Um, notice uh, there's no phone number on here. There is a website, mycolorshot.com, but there's no phone number. Maybe they have a, a, a spot online that you could you know, call them and either you know, ask for additional nozzles or you know, give them some feedback. I don't know yet. But my experience with Rust-Oleum is they, they have a very good uh, service department and they've been uh, they've been good to me over the years so I, I'll continue definitely to buy Rust-Oleum but I did want to do this video show you a little bit of what I'm learning with this color shot uh, you know one thing they've got going for them are some cool names you know you got the orange slice and the and the whites marshmallow I thought that was pretty cool so um, yeah a, a little bit uh, uh, snazzy maybe that's because it's designed in California so anyways guys um, I I can tell you that it's not a bad paint. Uh, you're free to go out and give it a shot. I would tell you if it was really bad, but there are definitely some positives there. Uh, note it's made in China, and that's just, you know, I don't say it's a deal breaker for me, but it's not like I'm going to run out and buy a bunch of these paints um, because if I can buy it made in America, I'm going to defer uh, by and large to that. And again, we'll test it over time. And see if those nozzles hold up and and then we'll go from there but all right guys uh, God bless you thanks for watching and we'll talk to you in the next video